households up to 20,000, 18,000 just a couple of days ago of people not having power. And that translates to probably 20 to 30,000 residents. So when you're looking at a county of 100,000 people and 30% of the population not having power, that is a great concern. So where we could really use your assistance is to um, just the understanding that infrastructure, not just response when there's a storm event from PG&E, but really providing focus of how we're gonna have infrastructure that's sustainable, where when we have PSPS events or um, storm <clears throat> events, that we do not have 30% of our population without power because it really becomes a health and safety issue. Right, I mean, uh you know, what could uh, they have done to have been better prepared so we didn't have 30% pe of people with power? Invest in infrastructure. The, the technology's been there for decades. The, the, the profit has been there for decades, but it hasn't been invested in infrastructure appropriately. So you have failing infrastructure, and that's the story of PG&E right now. And the investments are only being made now because of criminal charges and the courts getting involved. Otherwise, I'm not convinced that they would have made these investments over time. And we see it again and again, as, as Allison points out, um, a continued failure. Uh, there are, are some big efforts underway to underground uh, uh, utilities, which could have been done a long time, and that you know keeps you out of the, the wind, fire events, and, and snow events. But it's just not there. And it hasn't been, and it really needs to be, because our community is not gonna be safe. It pushes off into our cities. We have to invest in our own infrastructure to cover these events so that we can keep essential services going. It's not coming from PG&E, and we don't know how reliable it is. Well, let's definitely, I mean, after we get through this, uh, have a, a broader conversation about how we can, uh, how I can be of assistance in, in moving that uh, in a direction where we'll be better prepared in the future. Um, how many folks are